Hi, you're watching Professor Plays, and I'm continuing my build from scratch series. I'm just looking at this area here, and I think there's enough room to put smelting in here. I may need to chop a few trees, but let me start laying out some smelting. Let's go. If I go up here, as, as close as I can get, or pretty close to this spaceship, I think there will be enough room. And I may need to chop a few trees down there, but you can see the pollution is getting closer to the bugs. Okay, for now. Oh, I did put more radar. I don't think I showed you that. I put one up there. I wanted to scan to see what was up there. So I put a radar there. I put a radar over there. So it's scanning. But let's get some smelting going here. I crafted some uh, furnaces and a little bit of belt. I don't know if it's enough or not. But let's see. If I go as close as I can get to the spaceship. Oh, look at that. You can actually build on that wing. That doesn't look right. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Let's go right here. How close Let's see, is that? Is that too close to the mining? If I go here, that might be okay. Let's try that. If I counted correctly, that's 24. Yes, that's 24. And then, who am I? Do I have room for a belt here? Uh, did I leave room for a belt? I did leave room. Okay, good. So 24 furnaces will produce half a uh, belt, half a yellow belt of smelted ore. And you put 24 on the other side, and you'll get a full belt of smelted ore. That's the idea. Like that, like that, and then a belt over here. That. So I generally put, I generally put the um, opposing splitters like this, and then put the ores and a coal in here. So I'll do like coal like this, and put coal in this back splitter, and then put the ore to be smelted in here. Doesn't matter which side, obviously. So that's going to be coal. That's going to be ore to be smelted, and then I handcrafted a bunch of of uh, inserters here. And then on this belt right here, because of these opposing splitters, let's see, do I have any coal? Let me grab some stuff so I can show you. I got a bunch of stone, but I don't want the stone. Let me just grab a little bit of ore and a little bit of coal so I can demonstrate as I'm talking about it. What it does is the uh, splitters opposing like that it puts ore on one side of the belt and coal on the other side of the belt. Give me a little bit of coal, that'll be fine. So let's say, I generally make the uh, undergrounds here, I generally put the coal here, so let's just do that. Drop some coal on the belt. So you can see what it does. It goes around the loop there, and then the, the splitter on the back side side loads the coal onto the belts that are going in each direction. And then the ore I put on this one and it gets side loaded onto the belts going either way. And so now what you wind up with is you wind up with coal on one side of the belt and an ore, whatever ore, on the other side of the belt. And then you put your inserters like this. So it picks up the material, the coal and the ore from that belt, puts it into the furnace, gets smelted, and then the plate goes out onto this belt. Same thing down here. Belts, you can see here, belts have two sides. And so you can put like this ore and coal on there. Now the inserters, they will pick up from either side of the belt. Um, they prefer to pick up from the near side, but they will pick up from, from either side. So let's just go down through here and put these inserters, if I have enough. Oh, and then I need, I crafted some, um, I think I did, Yes, some electric mining drills, and I'll need to put some mining drills. In fact, we're not going to need you anymore, burner miners. We are we are going modern. There we go. So let's put some let's put some mining drills here. 
And in the early game like this with the small elect not with fish. <laughs> in the early game like this with small electric poles, the the pattern I use is I just hold down the left mouse, put the small electric poles as far apart as they will go. Like I did it in the wrong place. <laughs> anyway, I put them as far apart as they will go, and I put the mining drills between them. If I can get it, if I can do it correctly, I'll demonstrate it. So in here is where the belt goes, like this, like that. So there'd be a mining drill on this side, and then I would put the small electric pole. Just start here next to the mining drill. Hold down the left mouse. like that and that spacing with those small poles is perfect for putting these electric mining drills and so i'm just going to press q hold down the left mouse and you'll see it it'll put a mining drill in there and then it'll put one between the poles and there's room for two mining drills between each small electric pole uh, pair that's what i do so i'll just go down do i have yeah i've got enough let's go down through here with a few more And there's, there's, no, oh, I don't have any more. Can I craft a couple more? Oh, yeah. Looks like there's some, oh, yeah, there's a thousand ore under that one. And there's not much under that one. We don't need to worry about that one. But there's enough, there's enough material under this mining drill to make that one worthwhile. And then we'll put a belt. Like that. Where's my mining drill? One more. There we go. And power is over here to the left. There we go. Now we are mining some ore. Let's make this one the ore input here. Not into the splitter, so I'll just separate the coal and the ore a little bit. Maybe it looks better, maybe I don't know. Doesn't matter. On a splitter, it doesn't matter which side you put the ore in or the coal in, whatever it is. So I'll put ore in on that splitter. And then I'll put coal in here. Speaking of coal, where is my coal? Oh, I've got two coal choices, don't I? Ah, let's use this one over here. Do I have more mining drills? I've got a few. Can I make a few? I can make a few. Yeah, let's use this other uh, coal mine here. We have a dedicated coal mine we'll use just for smelting. We'll need some more belt. Like that, and we'll put some mining drills over here. Like that. And then a belt will go up there like that. Oops, wrong button. And we'll put power here. And power is this way. Like that. Doesn't take a bunch of coal uh, for smelting, but since I'm crafting the stuff, I will put the put the mining drills over here, and this is. This is going to go up there. Just make sure I got the right place. Like that. So we've got ore going in. We'll have coal going in. And a crafting belt. I don't want to do a bunch of hand crafting. I want to set up some automation. Start making things I'm going to use. But we got to get smelting going first, so... A little handcrafting is necessary. Probably should automate the uh, coal to the power plant too. Oh, speaking of which, before I started recording, I did go over there and put a bunch of coal in this chest, I think. 
Yeah, there's 349 in there. Hopefully we don't run out here, but I, what I'll do is I'll take a, I'll make more belt and I'll split off of here and I'll run belt up there to the power plant. Or I could, you know, either one, actually. Got that, got that coal there, too. And I'll just use this one. Let's see. Which one's bigger? You are 530 and you are, oh, gosh. <laughs> yes, let's use the 3.1 million. <laughs> That's a little bit bigger than the other one. And let's put some, oops, put some inserters here. I didn't realize that was so big. I don't remember. Did I look at that earlier? That's a that's a nice coal patch. So these inserters will pick up ore and coal and smelts it and puts it out on this belt. So this is the plates. This is the, whatever a copper iron plate. And where's the power? Power's down here. I probably will need a few more. A few more power. A few more small electric poles. So you can see the coverage area is not very big for these. You see that shaded area next to the pole? That's the, uh, anything that's in that shaded area will get electricity. So these inserters are complaining because they don't have any electricity. And if you can see, the, the shaded area is not big enough to cover both the inserters up here and the inserters down here. Now, if you, if you separate the furnaces and put the poles in here, like where I'm holding, you can cover both sides. That's another option if you wanted to use that pattern. So I just I just got used to using this pattern. Put the furnaces as densely packed as possible. And it does require a little bit more, a few more electric poles. But the, the overall smelting uh, footprint is smaller, and I think I like that better. So this this power pole here does cover the inserters down here on the on the the output inserters, but you do need more down here on the input side. I'm just holding down left mouse, and the game places them and powers up here. Did you connect? Yes, you did. And look at that. Just like that, we have smelted ore, in this case, iron plate. Oh, that's quite a bit of iron plate. We have quite a bit of coal. Okay, I like it. I would want uh, four iron plate smelting lines. So there's one. And I normally leave a gap. I, 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 I did a control C, by the way. Control C. And I'm just dragging across the thing that I just built. It makes a blueprint. And so I'm holding the blueprint. And now you can put them close together. You can put them so the belts are as close as possible. But I kind of get got in the habit of leaving a gap in there like that. And uh, what that I put that in there. You don't always need it. But boy, every once in a while, I just really want to run a belt from right to left. <laughs> and so now I've got some place to do that. So there's four. Uh, that I'll use for iron plate, and then I'd like to use uh, four for copper. And do I want those down here? What do I want copper smelting? Copper's up there, but too many trees to chop. I don't want to chop trees forever. Um, yeah, okay. I I'll run the ore down here on a belt. I think I like it. I, th I like the look of it better. If it's down here, where do I want steel to go? Kind of makes sense for steel and iron to be close together. Hmm, let me think about this. Copper up there. See, if I put this up here, I got all those trees to chop and the spaceship is in the way. I gotta leave my spaceship. That's my storage chest. I could put it above the spaceship. Um, thinking, thinking, thinking. I could put copper smelting up there. There's nothing wrong with that. Like that. Okay. I'll do that. I'll let you I'll let you off the hook. I'm not gonna make you watch all the tree chopping. <laughs> I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll do the tree chopping off camera. 
but let's, uh, oops, I got knocked off course here. Got to get them lined up for sure. Let's uh, get these lined up. There we go. They're lined up. If I go up this way. Um, like that. How's that look? So that's copper. And this is iron. Yeah, that's fine. Like I say, I won't make you watch all the tree chopping. And I still have room for my spaceship storage chest in the middle. I kind of like that spaceship in the middle there. Yeah, yeah, that's, that looks good. They're all lined up correctly. And copper is up there, so that'll work out nicely. And then steel. So steel, there's a bunch of different ways to do steel. Um, the simplest way is probably just to do this. Well, let me just show you with one of them. But the simple way to do steel would be to just put a normal smelting line like that and, and smelt that into iron plate. And then take the iron plate and feed that into another smelting line as the input. Uh, let's see how pretty light up there. Yeah. Like that. So this one's going to take iron ore, smelt it into iron plate. So this will have iron plate on it right here. Uh, let's see. There, iron plate. And give me some iron plate so we can see what we got here. So we got iron plate on here. Okay. So we smelted it into iron plate. Then take that iron plate and put it into an, the exact same design with the splitters and coal and stuff. So now what this will do, this will put iron plate on this belt, like this, like that. See, they're, they're iron, the iron plate goes on one side of the belt, and then you put coal on the uh, in here, just like the other one did. And then what the, these uh, furnaces do is they will take iron plate and coal from that belt, put them into the furnace, and when you smelt iron plate and coal, you get steel. So this would have steel on it right here. That's that's a really simple way uh, to do steel. Is that where I actually want steel? One, two, three, four. Yeah. So that that's a really simple way to do steel using that same layout. I don't. There's no. It's just as efficient. Well, just as efficient in terms of the rate of steel production. It may or may not be just as efficient in terms of the the number of electric poles. Uh, but that's Maybe, maybe even the same that way. Anyway, I typically don't do it that way. Um, what I typically do is I do it the hard way. <laughs> so, uh, what I do is I design another steel smelter. You could do it any way you want, but... Uh, oops. Come here. So one, two, three, four. So this would be steel down here. Like this. And so what I do is I design a, a special purpose or uh, steel smelter. Rather than taking the, the standard smelt, the smelting layout we just saw and feeding the output of one into the input of the other, I make a special purpose uh, steel smelter like this. So the idea is, the idea here is, it, just like before, we're going to take we're going to take iron ore and coal and put it into the uh, smelter like that. So this will smelt iron ore, and then the the output of the iron ore will be iron plate, and then I'm going to feed that directly into another uh, furnace. Like here's. I need to put stuff on the belt. Anyway, so this this belt here would be iron ore and coal, right here. Uh, here, do I have any still? I do. Okay. So this is going to get iron ore and coal, like that. So that's going to go into this furnace. It's going to make iron plate. That iron plate is going to get fed out of that furnace into this furnace. Now this furnace is going to be getting an iron plate, and it's going to make steel, but it has to get coal. You have to be able to figure out how to get coal into this furnace down here. And so I do, there's, I've done it many different ways. Um, but it essentially looks like, well, it looks like this, the way I do it. These inserters are all going to be lined up the same way. They're all going to point the same way. That makes it easier to put them in there. 
So this is going to take iron ore and coal, it's melted into iron plate. This is going to take the iron plate out of there, put it into this furnace. This is going to smelt steel. It's going to take the steel out of there and put it onto this belt. So this belt is going to have steel down here on the bottom. I don't have any steel, I can't show you. Um, here, I want some steel. I can demonstrate stuff here. Oops, I got knocked off course. I'm putting an electric pole so we have some electricity down here. There, steel. Okay, so it's going to take the steel out of there and put it onto, the, onto this belt, the output belt. Now this has to get coal into it. This one, the, the, the smelter up here that's smelting the iron plate, it's going to get coal from the same way we did before. We're going to have this, this underground like this. And we can put coal in here, just like we did up there. We can put coal in here. So that can be coal going in there, right there. And then the iron ore, just like we did before, but then the steel needs coal. This need, this has to get coal into it. So what I do is I take the standard yellow inserter and I point them like that. Oops, get the other way. I point them like that toward the furnace. So this is for coal. This one here is for coal. This is the output. Now how does it get power? So what I do for power is I put the, the electric pole here. Like that. And so I run a, I run poles down here alongside the belt and that powers those inserters. Let's do the same thing we did. Let's see, do I have this, the right number in here? Yes. This is the oops, this is the uh, steel smelting pattern, or very similar to the one that a lot of the speedrunners use. And the reason I think is it doesn't require the long-handed inserters, and it doesn't require uh, steel uh, electric poles. You can use the, the the wooden electric poles, the small electric poles. So it's a way to smelt steel with nothing special. It's the same stuff you've already got. And that's why I started using it. Like that. So there's the steel that comes out there. It just, you get a little bit, uh, I don't know. You just gotta be careful when you're putting the inserters. Uh, so you, if you watch the speedrunners, they will go down through here and they'll just put all the inserters the same way. Like that. Now, every other, these in pairs are pointing the wrong direction. So I typically don't do that because I get too confused maybe, but um, you have two inserters that feed, and you can, it doesn't matter which, which way you point them, but um, I would point these all the same like this. See, these are all pointing down like that. Well, those point down like that. And then you put inserters pointing up to get coal and put coal into the furnace like that. Now it's a solid row of inserters, so how do you get power to those? That's what this is all about right here. This is power to those inserters. And then you duplicate that, that design on this side of the belt. Now what's going on with power? Oh, it probably ran out of coal, didn't it? Uh, speaking of which, let's see, where is that? Where are you at, power? Power, I see some power wires. Uh, oh, it's right there. Let's run a, let's run coal up here from this belt. Do I have any coal? I've got some coal. Let's say output priority left. We want power to go priority. Are you going to be in the way of anything? No. And how long are you going to be power? So you, a normal power build would look like this. And then I would want a pipe here. 
and then I would want like that. I think that's 20 boilers. It is. So uh, one offshore pump can provide enough water for 20 boilers. That's why I did that. And so if I want coal to go, I want coal to go here. Here, let's do it this way. In case I want to expand power in the future. Let's leave room for another for another row of boilers. Like that. Do I have any more? No. So let's go here. More belt, please. No, more iron plate, please. I have lots of iron plate now. Look at that. Don't forget about the biters, by the way. They're still out there lurking. Um, no pollution is hitting anybody that I can see. Okay, and then... This, I wanted to hold to go here. And I want to leave room for another uh, expansion of power, so I think this should be sufficient. Oops. Like that. And I did up the party left. Yes, I did. Give me some coal. Inserters. There we go. Is my coal on the way? There we go. I see some coal on the way. And my pipe. Alright. That will give us a big power boost. Oh, my power is already running. Here, I could give you some coal. There we go. Probably need some more mining drills on. Oh, I've got, I have more. I have. Let's boost this a little bit here. Uh, let me make a few more. Do you have anything to mine over there? Uh, well, maybe. How far over do you mine? I think you get all that. I think you get all that stuff. So I just grab this power. Make a grid. Copper. Do I have any more mining drills? 
Uh, more mining drills, please. More iron, please. More belt, please. Oh, you know what? Do I have any machines? Oh, I do. Okay, speaking of belt, so now we have iron plate being smelted. Let's do our little first automation. And we'll just do a real simple. I want to automate belts. So you're going to make a gear. And you're going to make a belt. Like that. And you go like that. You go like that. You go like that. And you go like that. And you put that into a box. And I don't need an entire box of belt. I'll take that many if you would, please. And you can have some power. Ah, look at that. Just that quick. And we have automated belts. Power. Hmm. Power is still not great. What's going on, power? Do I need even more? No, I shouldn't need more. Uh, do I need more? They're all running. I guess I'm building too quickly. <laughs> Yeah, it's not going to last long. Let's let's uh, let's boost power some more. One boiler, two steam engines is the ratio. And I always use burner inserters. You don't need to. It's nice to have a couple burner inserters. Those are the ones that run off coal. Uh, you could use the regular inserters, which is a little bit more efficient up to you so these don't these would not need to be burner inserters down here these could be the regular inserters you would just need to give them power it's good to keep a couple burner inserters to jump start things if you run out of coal but uh, the, these are more efficient overall you would use less coal if you did that but I typically don't for some reason I guess you know, I just use these but well let's try it like let's see let's Let's use the regular inserters. Since I've been talking about it, we'll use the regular inserters. Like that. Just gotta give them power. Let's see, where does it look good? Power, you don't look good anywhere, power. Okay, there. Will you stretch that far? Yeah, there you go. And I need a pipe. I need a pipe. I need a pipe. I need a pipe. Now we have power. Now what does power look like? That looks better. We're probably almost out of research that we can do. Yeah, remember I talked about the fact that this simple lab setup, I, by the time I goof around doing everything, I've gone through all the red science research. Well, guess what? I've gone through all the red science research. Um, so the next episode, we'll have to build some, some more science. Okay, so let's just take a quick look here. Coal is running. Coal is going to smelting. Coal is going to power. I have a, a, an iron plate line running. I have a steel, half a steel set up. Let me finish building this, at least the half that I... Oop, ah, got knocked off, of course. Sorry, blueprint, or, yeah, actually, you're not a blueprint, you're a steel build. Do I have any more furnaces? Uh, give me more of those. And do I have any more inserters? I have a few. Oops. I'll just build half. This, this will be half a steel line. Inserters. Need more inserters. And you are going to need you're going to need iron ore and coal. So let's put coal. Let's put 
hold down a belt here. Let's see, how far to the left do I want? If I had a coal belt running down like this, what would that look like? Would that be okay? I want one more to the left, maybe. I don't no, let's see. I'd have to put a splitter there. Yeah, that would be fine. Let's, that's fine. Let's do that. And they got some belt from our from our belt build. Probably isn't much in there yet. Oh wow. Okay, forget what I just said. <laughs> There's quite a bit in there. And this is for coal. Like that, and you work coal here, right? Uh, yes, you work coal. And we're going to have to use undergrounds somewhere. Let's put them there. One more. Like that. And then a, I need a splitter. Stop what you're doing. Give me some other stuff. Splitter. And then this is coal. Uh, right, this is coal here, and you are going to be iron ore there. And there's coal going down this way. And then I'll put coal down there for steel. And this needs to be iron ore. For steel smelting here. Oh, I think that tells it pointed the wrong way. Can't have that. Uh, let's see. Let's uh, let's yeah. Let's just tap off this. I see some more right there. Um, I need to get ore into those as well. I'm going to leave a couple, I'm going to leave a gap of a few, a few gap, like that. And you need to go this way. So there's some ore going down here. Like that. And there's coal on one side, or on the other side. Oh, and I didn't have enough inserters, did I? Okay, so what was I in the middle of doing this? Okay, so you are you are going down this way. Like that. And then the other inserter needs to go up like this. Oops. Something's not right. Like that. And then you need electrical down the middle. Like that. And then basically the same thing on the other side. So I just do control C. And then you can flip. So I just control C just made like a blueprint. Now you can flip these blueprints. You can flip them horizontally and you can flip them vertically. So, if you notice the belts on the end there where I'm standing, if you press the F key, they're down here in this end. So that flips them horizontally. And then, if you flip them vertically, like, see, it's going vertically now. That's the G key. So I take the one I just made, that's, that's it right there, press G, and now it looks like that. And if I line it up like that, and click, I now have the other side of the steel smelter. And this is the same thing as we had up here. Iron ore comes in here. Oops, I don't have any stuff. Iron ore comes in here if you have the stuff. Uh, 
when they share the pole, the electric pole is down the middle, like that. Now down here, this steel... Oh, I don't have enough up down here, do I? Uh, I started to say this belt will have coal on it, but I haven't connected that part yet. So this has to have coal on half the belt, just like it does up there. So the iron ore is on one side, coal is on the other. Down here you have to have coal on one side and steel on the other. So you see the steel's on the bottom of the belt. So you need to put coal on the top of the belt in order for this to work. So like this. And it doesn't matter how you do it, but like oops, like that. It's like that would put coal on the top of the belt. If you put if you put coal in here on this belt that I just put there, that would put coal on the top of the belt. So either way, any any way you want to do it doesn't make any difference. As long as you get coal on the on the top of that belt. And then this belt is going to be this is going to output steel onto the top of the belt. So the steel give me a little bit of steel so I can demonstrate here. The steel down here is going to be on the top of the belt. Like that. Because I did a like a mirror image. And so though this will need coal on the bottom of the belt. So this needs coal on the top of this belt or here. And you need coal on the bottom of this belt down here like that. And then down here, what I do is I take these belts like this, and you use an underground like that, and you reverse it by pressing R like that, and like that, and then take a belt out of there like that, ta-da! You get steel on both sides of that belt, so that's the output of the steel smelter. You get uh, steel on both sides of the belt. So now all we have to do now is put coal on the other side of the belt. And I think what I... I don't remember my blue... I have blueprints that do this, and I... How did I do that? Did I just come in the side like this? I think that's what I did. Well, I think I just made it look like the, the coal input up there, and I did that. So I think that's what I did. Actually, it doesn't matter any way you do it. I think that's how I put the coal in there. So then we do. Um, oops, didn't want to do that. I want this. I actually need to get coal down here too, don't I? There. Then we have coal now on the uh, on the other side, and then put steel on that side. And now it's got coal to smelt steel, and now it's going to smelt steel, and steel's going to go down there, and, and then well, I'm still going out that belt. So I'll finish building this off camera down here. It's just it's the, the mirror image of the one I just built up there. So there you go. We've got uh, some steel going. We've got an iron smelter going. Oh, I didn't do my copper either. I'll do a copper off camera because I got a bunch of trees to chop. You you don't want to watch that. I'll chop a bunch of trees, I'll get some copper smelting going, we'll have copper smelting, iron smelting, and steel smelting, and we'll pick it up there in the next episode. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please click on that thumbs up button, I'd appreciate it very much. Take care, have fun playing. See you next time, bye-bye. Chopping, we will go.